What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Just like that, we are back! We got some good news, guys, and man, I've seen so many people being excited right now. People are shaking, people are excited, people are hyped up for Black Ops 7 Zombies. That's right, so we got DLC 1 leak for Black Ops 6 Zombies, and yeah, the news is kind of good, right? But guess what? It's only been a few days, right? But guess what, guys? Even Black Ops 7 has been leaked <laughs> next to your game. And I know, like, some of you guys are looking like this, quite frankly. I've been looking like this, but it's like an every year kind of situation, right? Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you do not buy the... <laughs> like the video if you do not want the BBC bundles, the $20, the $30 microtransactions. Dislike the video if you love microtransactions. Shout out to the homie Dalek. Wait for it, guys. Roll it. We need to discuss a jaw-dropping leak that hit the internet this morning. And you can read from this video's title that the original Zombies crew of Nikolai, Richtofen, Takio, and Dempsey will be returning to the Dark Eva storyline in 2025. Now, when I woke nah. up and saw this news, I genuinely couldn't believe what I was seeing. So I'm going to dive into every single detail so you can understand exactly where this leak has come from, how genuine and trustworthy the source of this information is, and how this could affect Black Ops 6 Zombies and next year's Black Ops Zombies game when it comes to the story. Storyline and the ramifications this could cause. You guys excited for Black Ops 7? <laughs> Course. But as I'm diving in and going through all of this, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you want to see this original crew return, then let me know by clicking the thumbs up button as I'm going to... Honestly, the news is actually good. I was kind of shaking as well, like the homie Dalek. Oh, oh, I'm shaking! When I heard, and, and you know what? Rick Toffin but to pull up and be like, my death was greatly exaggerated when he comes back, right? I also want to talk about DLC 1 in a bit, so wait for that. Roll it. Use that to gauge how many people want to see this crew back. Now, this groundbreaking news comes like from an industry was. insider called Tom Henderson who runs the website Insider Gaming. He's one of the most trusted insiders yeah. in the video game industry with a perfect track record of always being correct. I, I can vouch for the homie Tom. We have been covering Tom Henderson news on the channel for a while. I mean, he was behind that GTA 6 leak as well. He was the first guy to say that we're gonna have one female and one male protagonist in GTA 6 and he was the first guy to leak the Lucia Brunet as well for GTA 6. Bruh. So yeah, he incredible. He, cre he ain't in line. He ain't in line and never reporting unless having concrete evidence and sources. Now, anyone on the internet could create a leak like this and there'd be zero proof. But when it comes to Tom Henderson, he would never report on any gaming leaks and news like this if he wasn't 100% confident that it was correct. It goes without saying, but still take this with a big grain of salt. But due to his accuracy in leaks in the past, it's very likely that there is definitely some truth behind this. But diving into the article, and we're going to be quoting straight from it, he starts by okay. saying several sources have revealed that Call of Duty Zombies' original crew might be making in their return in Call of Duty 2025. No no the news way. comes from several sources who were invited to Call of Duty 2025 playtests and feedback sessions where it was revealed that the original- They're already playtesting the next Call of Duty. <laughs> Oh my god. And, and you got people out here, you know, talking about the skill-based damage for multiplayer. And I gotta be honest, Black Ops 6 is kind of- Kind of odd, right? It's better than Dustborn. It's better than Concord. Uh, what, what, uh, what, uh, what other, what other game coming to your mind that you think it's better for, uh, than? I would say Concord and Dustborn, hundred and ten percent. And Black Ops Six is odd, you know, it is odd. But Zombies is inferior if you're gonna compare it to Black Ops Two Zombies and Black Ops Three Zombies. Yeah, it's missing a little bit of the atmosphere, atmosphere, a vibe that we used to get back in the days for Black Ops Three Zombies, Black Ops Two. Pre Warzone era, post Warzone, yes, they have Warzoneified, but even after that, Black Ops 6 Zombies so far has been the best, I would say, in comparison to whatever we got in the last five years, right? But it's not as good as Black Ops 3. But if the Zombies, the premise crew, comes back in the next game or by the end of this game, which is likely, I think they're gonna set up the storyline in a way where by the end of this, uh, maybe even in DLC 4, we're gonna see like the premise crew back. And the next game, we're playing as the premise crew, Rick Toff and Do Takio Dempsey, makes sense. And there's apparently like leaks with uh, Transit, some people believe that we're gonna get a Zombie Chronicles 2, I mean the leaks about Zombie Chronicles 2 has been ongoing ever since we had Zombie Chronicles 1, all the way back in Black Ops 3, so I don't know if they're ever gonna do that, perhaps they're gonna do it in the next game and we're gonna get to that, wait for it. Original crew for Zombies are set to make their return. Now, about two weeks ago, there were Call of Duty 2025 feedback sessions that leaked, there with we go. imagery from a slideshow explaining details about the game's multiplayer and campaign, but 
in this report, Dempsey, Takio, and Nikolai were all said to be featured as a part of the feedback sessions, with no one way. eagle-eyed zombies fan stating that the versions of the characters that were shown were not Ultimus, but instead were older versions of the Primus characters. According to the same sources, the zombie storyline will evolve around a new enemy character who wants to absorb the dark ether essence of the original four characters and bring back the old multiverse. Now, from this one individual sharing this information with Insider Gaming, Tom Henderson himself was able to confirm all this information from several other sources. And those sources also originated from the same playtests and feedback sessions. So if multiple people from those sessions are confirming the same thing, then it seems likely that this info is correct. This goes mm. even further. We believe in it, boys. We believe <laughs> <laughs> we believe it and boys that honestly tom is very credible so even i have to say he i covered a lot of leaks in the past regarding battlefield 2042 uh for call of duty modern warfare 19 modern warfare 2022 you know the game that actually gave us that uh friendly uav online bundle you know uh yeah man that that, that we had leaks about it we had leaks about the modern warfare 2022 you know and uh that's what happened three years three thousand devs right so you remember all those memes all those all those jokes yes man we covered leaks about about that and they came from the homie Tom and also other sources as well but what I'm trying to say here is that yeah Tom is credible so it's very likely that this is gonna happen and you uh, and we have been hearing about next year's game for a while now that next year's game is gonna be a black ops 2 remake that it's gonna be a brand new game but with remaster maps uh, and new maps similar to how modern warfare 3 2023 was i'm yeah. not sure how that uh how you guys are gonna be looking like after hearing that story some of you guys uh, definitely want original black ops 2 remastered right some of you want new games but uh i guess it's gonna be the best of both worlds we're gonna see how that works out uh I, 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 and I'm assuming that there's gonna be a catch, there bounds to be a catch with this one. Because we're talking Activision, right? Right now there's a whole lot of drama surrounding like skill-based damage. You know that the operator that they added as well. We covered that drama on the channel as well, man. So we're gonna be talking about that too. But today, right now, it's a good news video. So I don't wanna like talk about that stuff right now, okay? But wait for it. DLC 1 Zombies. Let's talk about that too in a second. As one of the sources also said that the main Zombies map in next year's game will be transit inspired with some form of travel system to navigate around the map. And one source who was a part of such playtest also revealed that there was a plan to have six total Zombies maps throughout the life cycle of Man. next year's Call of Duty. But whether or not- Hey yo, what the hell? Can a brother get more than six maps? We deserve at least 60 maps, bro. 60 maps or nothing, bro. <laughs> que pasa? Que pasa? Por que? Por que? Y'all suckers got like that millions of billions of dollars, bro. We deserve to get more than six maps. As a brown man, I demand more than uh, six maps, okay? More than Bruh. six maps. Yeah, I demand more than six maps. Like the video, if you agree the game's scope has changed is unclear. He ends it by saying it's worth stressing that these playtest events usually have some variation to the details. And by that, he means in one session, a group will be told that X is returning. And then in another mm. feedback session with a completely separate group, they will say that Y is returning. That way, Bruh. if anything leaks, they can pinpoint the origin of it based on the yeah. info only being told to one group. This is like, you know, the Area 51 kind of stuff, guys. You know, If you have been, you know, in the conspiracies and all that, you know, Bob's are actually came out, uh, years decades ago right he said that yes we were put in like different rooms different groups right and if somebody leaked information they would know who leaked the truth about aliens right so yeah if you if you are into conspiracies you know what i'm talking about i have a second channel by the name of scary x where we cover all sort of that kind of crap right but Sounds familiar, man. Like, it seems like Treyarch is like Area 51 right now of, uh, of zombies or some crap. Instead of several groups. But on top of that, these playtests and feedback sessions are usually done way ahead of the game's release in order to gain valued feedback for the development. Tom Henderson mm. says, however, from what he's been able to determine, this information has been at various different feedback events worldwide and has been present over the last 12 months or so from these no feedback way. sessions. Suggesting no that the way. information is almost certainly accurate. But he does premise this by by saying never say never. But it is crazy to be talking about next year's Call of Duty game when Black Ops 6 is not even a week old. But according to Insider- Yo, next year, I think will probably be decent year. But here's the thing though, you know, Stud Muffins rise up, Stud Muffins, we gotta have an emergency meeting immediately and wait for it. We gotta get to DLC one and what the homie, Mr. t Lex if I said though, yeah, we gotta get to that too. But here's the thing, right? We have 
not we we but like they 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 said that 2024 is gonna be one of the best year in gaming recently we heard what happened with concord so concord shut down we had so many disasters with sweet baby ink and all that crap right we've seen we've all seen what happened in video games we're seeing what's going on in video games and black ops 6 honestly it's a pretty odd game i know some of you guys are not liking it some of you guys are loving it some of you guys are mixed with it too which is fair though everybody got different opinions and that's understandable but black ops 6 the reason it feels all right is because we don't even have any games right now seriously think about it i'm, I'm of course we got like some smaller games here and there some niche specific games maybe there's a game that you like but what i'm trying to say here is that we don't necessarily have a big household name game that's out there that is solid and good and that people are playing right now mostly all of uh, everybody right black ops 6 is the only big game so far that uh, that is being talked about whether you love it or hate it that's like a different debate right but the reason black ops 6 feels all right is because we don't even have that many games because yeah what are you really gonna compare to there's nothing right uh nothing out right now that you can compare black ops 6 to because black ops 6 is an fps game and think about it this way <laughs> battlefield 2042 was the last fps game uh, that was big big right you know what happened with that we all know what happened with that even though right now black ops uh, or battlefield 2042 i played right before black ops 6 came out and i enjoyed my time but it's not the best battlefield game and now it's like whatever whatever it, 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 you know what i mean the next battlefield game is confirmed but we don't know when it's coming out we're assuming that it's gonna come out by the end of next year 2025 so see 2025 we got gta 6 coming out unless they delay it of course black ops 2 remake or black ops 7 or whatever they want to call it uh call it right uh and, and we're gonna have the dlc life cycle for black ops 6 gta 6 the next battlefield game black ops 2 remake and all that and hopefully some good playstation and xbox games and some other games as well I think 2025 might be a good year, guys. I think it might be a solid year, but debatable, I guess. What are your thoughts on it so far? Gaming, next year's Call of Duty is set to be a Black Ops 2 sequel, with the campaign following Harper and Mason as they try to save the world from a new villain following the death of Menendez. But that was such a monumental drop of information that- Just look at that. This is Shadows of Evil intro cutscene, and just looking at that, man, this is almost- uh, This is nine years old. Not even almost. It's nine years old. And this Black Ops 3 Zombies, if you were to compare Black Ops 6 Zombies with Black Ops 3 Zombies, there's a night and day difference, like literally night and day difference. So if you're gonna compare Black Ops 6 Zombies with something like Black Ops 3 Zombies, yes, so Black Ops 6 Zombies is inferior. But if you wanna compare Black Ops 6 Zombies with Zombies that came out in the last five years, it is uh, pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Otherwise, it's pretty decent, right? I wanna know your thoughts on it. We for just sure. got to let it soak in for a moment. But the issue with this is, is that if this is indeed correct, which it seemingly is... Look at the characters, dog. Like, look at the characters. This game had personality. Even if Shadows of Evil is not your favorite map or you think that was bad, right? We got a whole lot of other maps in Black Ops 6 or Black Ops 3 Zombies. Just the quality, objectively, Black Ops 3 Zombies was... It had a soul. It had a personality. Black Ops 6 Zombies lacking that... I wouldn't say big time. Black Ops... Black Ops Cold War Zombies lack personality big time. I mean, we didn't even have a crew. This time we had a crew, but it's more like war zonified and all that. So, I mean, I, I want to see Primus back for sure. Absolutely. Is, and this news potentially puts a slight dampener on the Black Ops 6 zombie story arc, as we sort of have an idea on where it could be leading with the idea that these characters are going to return. But there is a huge fundamental problem with this leak, and it comes in the form of what's happened and been set up for the storyline in order for us to now be in the Dark Aether one, and that this crew of characters are dead. The only yeah. character that remains from this crew is Richtofen, who, Damn. along with Samantha, started a brand new life in the Dark Aether where they joined it when they were they all wanna say psych they're Children. gonna say psych, the other remaining characters of nikolai takio and dempsey as well as the primus and ultimus versions of richtofen all sacrifice themselves so that they could end the multiverse as the reason the cycle kept repeating is because of their existence and their links to the ether we went through a 10 plus year journey with these characters to get to the resolution that we did and as far as clear storytelling is concerned that is a full story and character arc of all of those characters they went through a journey which was absolutely incredible we all love these characters but at the end they had to die in order for the story to come to a conclusion and if these characters were going to you know what what i did not like about 
Black Ops 4 Zombies started off strong. Minus the HUD debacle, Blue Screens debacle, Black Ops 4 Zombies started very, very good. And they rushed it out because of Red Dead Redemption 2. Because, uh, yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out in 2018. Black Ops 4 came out in 2018. Black Ops 4 Zombies, looking back at it, the maps were actually pretty solid, I would say, till, like, uh, maybe DLC 1, DLC 2, right? After that, they had Nuketown Remake. And I'm a massive fan of Nuketown Zombies. I know not everybody's a massive fan of Transit or Nuketown Zombies. I, on the other hand, big fan of Nuketown Zombies that we had in Black Ops 2 <laughs> and Transit. Okay, I'm big, big fan. Okay, big thing. I'm a big fan of that crap. But the Nuketown remake that we got in Black Ops 4, that was absolutely terrible. <laughs> that was a disaster. That was terrible. That was the quality was so piss poor. Couple that up with uh, the textures and couple that up with the HUD that we had in Black Ops 4. Man, they did it dirty. And of course, their budget was cut because the response wasn't as good as Black Ops 3 Zombies. So initially, we had season pass. And those of you that are new to Call of Duty, Black Ops 4 was the last Call of Duty game to have a season pass. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Yeah, man, like time flies like crazy. That was the last game. So they actually had people's money, $50 extra for the season pass. And it was talking about, hey, you're going to get like new maps, new experience. And, you know, after DLC 2, we started getting remakes. <laughs> they said psych and they were like, get mama, man. We ain't making that money off of you, slickers. We're gonna start giving you rehash crap and they cancel the chaos story because at that time it didn't work I mean it didn't hit people in the g-spot I mean it hit right like the DLC 2 ending cutscene to a lot of people as things started to spice up They ended it and right now we're hearing that it might come back. It might not. Well, we'll see though So yeah, right like, that, that, that's Return in a way where it was a completely alternate universe Alternate storyline <laughs> that wasn't dark Aoife or Aoife and I could Bruh. maybe accept it But the fact that we have a brand new storyline that is completely disconnected from those four characters that it just feels extremely alien that they're now going to be back in a new storyline that follows their deaths in the old storyline now by the details of this leak it does sound like this could be a completely new version of the crew that are based off of premise so they're not ultimus they're not premise they're entirely new versions which if they are and somehow that can be explained in a story thread that makes sense then i guess as long as the original guess, yeah. legacy of those characters are retained but we get a brand new generation version of them then this might not be as big as a problem as I'm actually making it out. And if I mean, fans are always going to be optimistic, and it's a good thing, but with Activision, they're bound to be a catch, though. What if, like, Edward Richtofen is like, hey, man, or Activision is like, you gotta pay $20 to acquire Edward Richtofen in Zombies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, imagine they do that. But uh, let's talk about DLC 1 Zombies. Shout out to the homie Lex Roller. Black Ops 6 Zombies DLC 1 has almost officially been confirmed because of what we've seen in the Terminus ending cutscene, giving us a lot of clues here with the Samantha AI. With this bottom folder on the middle yeah, here, there it actually says the word keep. And the characters here, they talk about the Sentinel artifact and also going towards a place called Avalon. Now, Avalon is actually based within the king arthur sort of mythos <laughs> oh man I, I i i don't know what's going on in the story so far i might catch up later but man this is like all of us right now man damn this is how we be looking like waiting for gta 6 and for call of duty to get better this year the game is odd but for four years man you know what i'm saying zombies can be a lot better though it's growing on me and i feel like it's growing on a lot of people and uh it, you know news that we are hearing today is good though I'm, I'm gonna be honest i don't want to dog on it because the news is kind of decent right it is decent let's hope they don't ruin it though because right now they're starting to build it back you know what i'm saying uh, it's not there yet and it's all right hopefully it's gonna be there eventually but they're building the hype back i guess and getting fans back I don't know. I, I want to know your thoughts on that one, uh, for sure. But what's crazy is that Avalon, when you've played the BO6 campaign, is actually where the casino mission itself is set, which is why I even tweeted it out that I am almost 100% confident that the next map is going to be the casino map. Now, with them posing the Sentinel artifact in the game, it definitely makes me wonder if they are... Well, the... Bro, the entire game is gonna be a casino, bro. <laughs> 
They're gonna turn the entire game into a, uh, into a casino, like the last few games. Hope not, but... Okay. We're going to be reusing Black Ops 4 Chaos assets. As a lot of people know that there were two zombie maps that never released with Chaos. One of them was Library of Alexandria, and the second one was... John Vick! John Vick! John Vick! Hey, 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 hey released with chaos one of them was library of alexandria and the second one was atlantis and so yeah. maybe they could be tying that's what i was talking about like black ops for zombies cut that <laughs> and be because they were not making money and they were like nah man y'all suck y'all suckers can go pound sand we're gonna start rehashing maps and then they also uh made the ending cutscene animated because they're they cut the budget before it was actual cgi and good cutscenes and then they turned it animated i would say black ops 6 zombies uh, cut cutscenes quality is it's kind of like in the middle between what we had in the very beginning of black ops 4 zombies versus what we had at the end because at the end of black ops 4 zombies the cutscene quality i mean of course it was animated it wasn't that good this one is kind of like in the middle but before zombies would get actual real cgi cutscenes because and that was before warzone and they had to right they had to you had they had the multiplayer community the zombies community and campaign is like a one-off thing right you play you love it you love it or you hate it you hate it that's it right but now they have got warzone and that's where the money's at for them so they they don't give a damn about zombies the way they used to back in the days back in the days they really needed zombies to do well now if it does well hey good if it don't do well who cares that's where they at with it so that's why the quality is not that good but it's all right so far it's all right but a lot of the chaos lore that they already have in with what is going to be happening soon and i want to really talk about this because this is a big deal that we have some sort of clue with dlc1 already i was even confident enough to say that black ops 6 zombies dlc1 is a casino map in avalon and somebody's even brought up the wikipedia link that avalon is another mythical island map so this could be crazy where is a magical place where king arthur's sword excalibur was made and so this could be interesting because we could literally be going into a world war ii sort of zombie style where the whole point of the dlc in that game was actually to make a sword of barbarossa and that could be really cool tying it in with the campaign and obviously giving it its own little flair which to me i think is the greatest way to go with this game now that we know that next year's call of duty 100 is a black ops 2 sequel for sure yeah. and we yeah, are somehow yeah. going to be getting premise back in that game as yeah. well and so that makes me incredibly excited that hopefully Honestly, though, the excitement is kind of back a little bit. I would say is Black Ops 6 Zombies is not terrible. It's not amazing, but it's growing on me. And with this news that we're hearing, the next year games, thankfully, it's not going to be Infinity Third. Uh, Infinity, thankfully, Infinity Ward is not on it. It's plot twist that probably are working to a certain degree but hey whatever right but guys check out this video on the screen recently we had a massive dr disaster drop about what just happened with this youtuber i'm not sure if you guys saw this or not insane update insane news check it out and i'll see you right there